I'm here with uh, Mrs. Mary Geary, uh, Secretary of the Broadford Development Community Council. Broadford is a uh, limestone at the foot of red sandstone, West Limerick. I suppose we're on the north face of the Mullaharayark mountain range. Uh, I'm just going to ask Mary a very simple question. Mary, can you briefly tell us what, what is a wildlife arboretum? What is going on in this disused limestone quarry? We have planted a lot of trees all to bring in the wildlife species like the bats and all the, uh, the birds. We hope we all be to become a conservatory for birds. A conservatory for birds. birds and for the bats and, and, and for all the wildlife. We have a flora count done in it. Flora counts have been done, done. and ongoing. And are, that's right, they're ongoing, and we have planted a lot of trees. And are they native trees? They're all, they? everything is native. Everything okay. is native Irish. Native There's Irish. There's nothing, nothing outside the native Irish plant. And why, why native Irish trees in, in this old, disused quarry? Like... Uh, Sorry, what do you mean? Well, why do we people would have thought that... That commercial tree planting has been the way of life of the state forestry since the 20s. Why? Because what? this was originally uh, an old area anyway. There was all, all around the hills and everywhere, all around, around the all oak plantations. Oak plantations. I'm told by Seamus Sullivan, a, a local publican and an archivist historian, that in fact the, the old name of the townland, we have 24,000 townlands in Ireland. The old name of this area was Parkna Nari, which would mean Oakfield. Oakfield. Uh, what and size is this quarry, Mary? It's uh, a little over an acre. A little and over an acre. It was donated to the school children by uh, Lord Musbury in his will for their use. And in the old times, the school was across the way and the kids played in the quarry. That was their playground. Very good. But now the new school is built further out, so they don't shoot anymore. Decided then by the commercial uh, council to uh, plant an arboretum there. Plant an arboretum with with uh, help from West Limerick Resources and help from West Limerick Resources. Quilsha gave us some silver and downy birch and some common alder. And we also had a huge input from the locals. A huge input from the locals. Tell me the first question I was asked this morning. Is there a genuine community, is there, is, is this local community sensitive to this project? Very. They're very good to look after it and a lot of the village people. They, it has created huge interest and as a matter of fact we won a cup from Limerick County Council oh, for the best environmental uh, project. project. That's right. Yeah. Right. Congratulations to Chairman John Jones and Secretary Onruni Mary Geary and Davy O'Keefe, Davy Brown, John uh, Pierce, John Pierce has put in Trojan voluntary work, um, Kitty Duggan, and we must mention one other person, Dr. Moira O'Donnell, which are the core committee that have evolved this unique project. It's unique in Ireland. It's unique in the Republic. There is one other twin project in Oma, in County Tyrone. So the plan would be perhaps a twinning of the projects, Mary. Mm -hmm. A cross-border twinning. Yes. Because there's one other pure native plantation project in Oma. So congratulations. That's the first news I got of the was cup. It? What was it? Yeah. I didn't realise oh, that. We're having a presentation and I, 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 yeah, I, are I invited, Mary? I'm sure you are. Good. Yes. <laughs>